Hi guys, this is Jensen from Pixel Hero team. Welcome to our channel. I want to start this video with a question. Have you ever heard of keyframe in the field of video editing and animation? This video will introduce you the definition and basic principles of keyframe in the AV industry and its specific applications in our Pixel Flow software. First of all, let's define the keyframe. Keyframe is an essential technical element in animation and video editing which is used to mark the start and end of the animation and control the change of layer positions or parameters during the animation process. Secondly, we will introduce how keyframe work. The core principle of keyframe is based on automatic interpolation between two or more set points. By defining the initial frame and the end frame, the frame in between can be generated by a computer algorithm. Uh, resulting in smooth animation. The keyframe itself is a dynamic representation of a static content in which a parameter such as position, size, layer effects, etc. are defined. Adding keyframe to an animation means telling the device in what a state the animation should be at a particular time. In addition, I will show you how to add keyframe in the pixel flow. When a layer is selected in the programming interface, the keyframe switch can be set in the layer's basic menu. Speed. This means that when switching layers, the speed of switching animation can be set to different effects. The S-shape curve indicates that the switching process slows down first, then gradually speeds up and finally slows down again. A linear curve means that the speed of the switching process is always the same. Start time, the time when the layer switching process starts after clicking take. Animation duration, the time it takes for the layer switching. We need to set a pair of layers to the same set of keyframes in both PGM and PVW, giving them the same sequence number. Next, let's operate the Event Controller U5 Pro to see the real keyframe effect. To compare the differences, let's look at the switching effect without keyframes firstly. Now, we load the preset with the keyframe effect and look at the new effect. The switching process has a gradual animation which is smoother. In the current version 1.4, we support adding size and position of layer to the keyframe. In the near future, we will support more layer effects just like border, mask, and shadow, etc. Okay guys, that's all about Pixel Hill keyframe function and if you want to learn more about our products and our solutions, please subscribe our channel and get more latest news about Pixel Hill. Bye bye.